Now from the home of the Rays, Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida, we've got an AL East contest tonight between the Boston Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays. J.D. Martinez with just days left to play the league's top power bat looks to cement his case for the home run crown next. Yanni Chirinos the right hander from Venezuela gets the starting nod in this one. What do you have for us on him Danny. Hey this guy's had a real solid season up to this point ERA under 3.5 which is saying something in these high scoring games we see now in the game of baseball. This guy knows how to pitch and if he's on he knows how to minimize the damage. He'll be fun to watch Leading in this one. Tonight Digging in Andrew Benintendi and we are set Andrew. for baseball here this Benintendi. evening. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And the first pitch of the night here is looked at for ball one. And we are underway in Tampa. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play first here pitch. tonight. They do Seven come in ten. off a victory last time out, but they've really hit the skids here recently. Losers of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, thanks, Matty V. Hey, you know what, Dero? This is one they'd like to win right here. They win the first game of the series, drop game two, win game three. They'd like to keep the momentum going here, Dero, win two in a row and win three out of four in this series. Yeah, you want to definitely get a chance to win this series today. Play good baseball. You don't want to go on that seesaw. We'll give you one, we'll take one. They need to figure out a way to get it done today. Here he comes on 2 and 0. That one's in there on the black 2 and 1. That's a nasty pitch right there. You got to tip your hat as the hitter. You get a nasty slider like that, there's nothing you can do. Actually, a quality take. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at 2 and 2. Here now, the 2 2. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? The right field. Well, one thing's for sure. They love what Mookie Betts brings to their offense. He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. It looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. So one away here with the bases empty and up next one of the terrific talents in the game Mookie Betts. Here comes the first pitch sent on the ground out to second Arroyo fields cleanly for gets him two down. Here's J.D. Martinez with just a few games left to play. He comes into this one with a sizable lead in the home run standings. And the way he's swinging the bat, I don't think anyone catches him. It's got to be a nice feeling stepping to the plate, knowing you're going to end up a home run champ. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Shot toward right center. Garcia is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox. Boston nothing. Tampa Bay coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Chris Sale, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. What's your take on him, Dan? This guy is a strikeout pitcher deluxe. Has over 250 strikeouts on the season. And if he brings his A game, look for a lot of punch outs in this game here. In now, number 11. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And leading off for the Rays, the shortstop, number 11. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four of five prior to that. Yeah, Matty V, we're getting a look at a really good team right here, D Row. The only thing you hope they can do is to stay focused as the season winds down. They're a good team, and it looks like they could go a long way in the postseason. Dan, I've racked my brain trying to figure out what's the best way to go in. Clinch your division early, be playing good baseball, meaning full baseball down the stretch to get into the postseason bottom line is it's an 11 12 game sprint when you get in you want to be executing on all cylinders when you get in but anything can happen fastball got him looking 
as that had two seam action on it, one gone. Now a moment here in St. Pete for a glance at the Rays starting lineup. Anybody the catch your eye, Dan? Well, Matt, you yep. know the man hitting cleanup has had a rough go of it lately. He hasn't been much of a threat this year, hitting in the low 200s right now. And when you're going through that lineup, his struggles really stand out. They need a lot more from him, and I know he expects a lot more out of himself, too. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Slider laid off for a ball. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Dan, I know I was an offensive player, but I'm okay being a pitcher's umpire. If you're going to consistently pound that outer half, James Kingsley's usually going to give it to you. Hey, listen, there's a reason why the pitchers throughout the league, they call him the king of the hill. You move the ball a little bit off the strike zone, he's not afraid to put that arm up. He's a very good pitcher's umpire. Shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground, and they'll just tag him out along the first base line. So here is Avisayo Garcia. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Garcia. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. Wow, not sure what that was, but talking about having your mind made up, you're going to swing before the pitcher even throws a pitch. I don't know how you swing at that nope. pitch. Ball one. And this one's inside and high, one and two now. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Sale gets the sign. One two on its way. And a fastball swung on and missed and the side is retired. Rays go in order. One two three. And this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Here's Xander Bogarts now. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Xander Bogarts. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. This is gathered in out there by Garcia for the first out. All right, let's that take a look it. at the Tampa Bay Rays on defense. Number three. And if you look at the numbers on this team, defensively, they're in the top five, fewest errors in the league. Flashing the leather, picking and grinning, keep an eye on them. They play stout defense. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Chris Taylor batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. First offering on its way. No, that's Low down. with the splitter, ball one. Looked like a slider perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2 and 0. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Three and oh now. Waiting next is Dustin Pedroia. And he finally gets a sinker over here for a called strike one. He loses nope. him on ball four. Batting fit. The second baseman. Dustin. Now at the plate, Pedroia. Dustin Pedroia. So we check out how he did in August versus how he's finishing off the season down the stretch here in September. Strike him out. First pitch coming, here it is. Pitch misses the throw down. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. 
So a chance here to perhaps get on the board for the first time as he's into scoring position on the stolen base. And you can see right there he currently sits second on the Red Sox in that category. The 1 0 home misses for the second ball. No score here as we play inning number two. Two right. balls and a strike. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. He could get the early that's hook if he can't be a little bit more precise here. That's that walk number two of the right inning, right. and we're only in the second. Striding forward now, Jackie Bradley Jr., and he's someone they're going to have to watch out for. You can see he's been a tough out over the last couple of series. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And that one got a piece of him. And this guy loves to throw the slider, and it's a very effective pitch for him. But here's the flip side of that coin he starts this one too far inside and plunks the hitter. Stepping up now, Christian Vasquez. Two hits and eight tries for the series. He's set. Here it comes. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. So far on the year, Vasquez brings a batting line of barely over 200, so there's certainly some room for improvement there. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. Taylor on third, Pedroia over at second, Bradley is over at first with one away. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you could spot your pitches there and advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. Here's Brock Holt now. Popped straight up. Low. Moving forward. And he stretches out and left, but this is off his glove. One run is scored. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2-0 ball game. Now that. Hey, this the one's a long way from Andrew. being over, d -roll, but that, that big Andrew. base hit right there gives him a two-run lead. Yeah, Dan, without question right there. Huge at bat. Gives his team the lead. Hopefully the pitcher's able to settle down now. He's got some runs on his back, and he's able to go out and execute. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. Pitch in the dirt, and that gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Well, he's just lost complete control of the baseball in this inning. Two walks and now a wild pitch. You know he's talking to himself in his head, and I can't imagine he's saying any real nice things either. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Runners at second and third with two gone. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. 
This inning hasn't gone the way he wanted it to, but it's not a total disaster yet. Sometimes pitching is about damage control, so if he can strand these guys out there, that would be pretty huge. Ready with the 2 1. Ball three. And he misses again. Ball three. That's back to back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. Out of the stretch, the 3 1 home. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And a good effort here, but he's well safe at first, and there are two on and two out now. Now that the right fielder, Mookie. Here's Mookie Betts. Betts. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. And he misses with it one and one. You know, guys, these hitters have had some great looks at that slider so far, and clearly they're all on the same page. The plan is simple. Lay off that slider and make it bring up something straight in the strike zone. Takes this the other way to right, but a little unlucky there as it's hit right to him in right field for the final out of the inning. So they pick up three runs on only two hits in the inning. No errors and a couple of men left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Boston's out in front, three to nothing. Here now is Mike Zanino. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one, only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Too high, 1-0. Love jumping out to an early 3 nothing lead, but this game is far from over. A lot of innings left to be played. He's going to have to continue to execute out on that mound. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. Well off the plate with the change of pace, that's ball two. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. The 2 2. Weak grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Set to deal on two and two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. All right, let's take a quick look at how the Red Sox set up on D today. And let's focus on the guy behind the dish tonight, Christian Vasquez. Lock in on this guy. Some say he looks like a young Pudge Rodriguez in his prime. The bat's coming, but the way he massages this pitching staff is should be your focus. So coming to the plate, Daniel Robertson. And there you see the numbers over his last eight contests. He's really been leading the charge for this team. First delivery to him on the way. And here's a fastball called for strike one. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, nothing better, huh, guys? I guess maybe the crack of the bat, but I'm not as partial to that as most people. He looks good and loose out there to start this one. Smoke toward third. And that's the second out. 
Yeah. So bases are empty base here base. with two gone. And that brings up the corner infielder G-Man Choi. Sales ready. Here's the first pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Hey, two outs, nobody on, and a power hitter up. This is where, as a pitcher, you got to use the hitter's aggression against them. Get him to fish a little bit. Something a little more out of the zone than normal. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Fouled off. Another one sent foul. Lifted the other way out to left center. Giving chase is Benintendi. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Rays. Still down three nothing. Now is the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Garcia is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone and that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two strike hitters in baseball Xander Bogarts. He's set and the pitch and a fastball's in there for strike one. Bases are empty one man out. Swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing in two. One and two to the Boston shortstop. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Throw on to first, two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in to hit next, it'll be the ever versatile Chris Taylor. First pitch coming here it is and he lays off there one and oh and that catches the outside edge one and one bases are empty here with two men out. This one's down to third Diaz gloves it. Throw in time and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Now at the plate, Brandon Lowe, seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. The Not much going on the offensively so far for these Number guys. Eight. Six up. Six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. First offering on its way. Well, too much tilt on that breaking ball as it misses low. Two and oh now. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. Hey. That one's in there, three and one. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3 0 and turn to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball.
And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. That will bring in Guillermo Heredia now. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. Really tied him up on that one. Yeah, clearly didn't recognize where that was going to end up, Matt. If I were pitching, I might go right back in there. Here's the 0-1 pitch. A ball and a strike. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. Here's the 1-1. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. The one two. On a line to shortstop and the runner gets back no double play. Well it's still early but it's also worth the noting that he'd be in line for the Chris win did. if this keeps up as we take oh, a look at the yo. league leaders in games won this season and as you see he's right up there among league leaders in that department and that'll bring up the former first rounder Christian Arroyo first swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone from the stretch well behind that fastball it's a swinging strike. Arroyo playing here in his home state of Florida. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Now the 0 1. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. The 1 1 home is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Low leads off first with one away. Down the first baseline. And he lays out, but he can't make the play. We'll do it again. Three and two the count to Arroyo. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three two count. You send the runner and if it's a bad pitch it's ball four. Working for the punch out and the offering. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. Payoff pitch one more time. Line drive to left. Benintendi is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting, number 11. Stepping into the box, number 11. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. As a look, now the pitch. In there, strike one. Well, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is one right down the pipe. And unfortunately, he let that one go. And he'd like to have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. And it's fouled away. A runner on first with two away. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Ray's strand just the one. They trail in this one, three nothing. 
You say you're trying to reach the sky. You can do it all it takes is time. It takes is time. You gotta work if you try. Back with Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersen with you as former AL MVP Dustin Pedroia settles in to get the inning started. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. And here's one that misses to Pedroia, and the count evens at one and one. And a swing by Pedroia as this one's on the ground out to short. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Now back. So the base is empty here with one away. And in to hit next, it'll be the left handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. Here comes the first pitch. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Bradley, originally from the state of Virginia, he was selected in the first round back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. A bouncer to the left side. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Now batting. Catcher. Oh, man, he just muffed that throw. No other way to explain it. Looked like it caught him in the heel of the glove instead of the pocket, so he's going to get hit with a fielding error as a result. Into the box, Christian Vasquez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Comes set with the 0-1. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Scooped up on the backhand. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So no runs or hits here as the error turns out to be unimportant. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Red Sox lead it three to nothing. Stepping in, Yandy Diaz. And, and he'll step in to start Ray. things out against the Chris Sale. Yandy Diaz. Pitch of the at bat on its way. And they start him out away with a cold strike. This guy has been throwing the ball so well, and that's exactly why. He has such a feel for that secondary pitch. He can flip it over whenever he wants and get back in the count. The wind up and the 0 1. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. The one two. Now that's popped up. Pedroia has a play. One down. Now to the plate of Isaiah Garcia. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball 1-0. And this one's too far inside, ball two. No runs, no hits, one error in the ballgame for Tampa Bay. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. And here's a fastball taken too low, and he works the count to three and one. Time for him to attack on the mound. He knows this team's struggling offensively. Don't mess around and try and nibble. Just be on the attack and let them beat you. 
There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. Line drive to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble now for the second out. Catcher, Mike Zuniga. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. First offering on its way. And they'll start him with a fastball that's low for ball one. Two out, nobody on. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. That nibbled the corner there, but missed 2 and 1. Oh, it wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. Three and two, full count. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And that one misses. It's ball four. So a two out walk gives the Rays some hope here in the inning. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed now, a little bit right there. And you hitters. know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. In now, Daniel Robertson. Strike one to start the at bat. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Sale sets. Here he comes 0 and 1. That's strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. In the dirt here. And boy, he didn't quite know what to do on that one, but he's lucky to barely get back at first. Line to the right side. That gets down, and the Rays' first hit of the game is going to be for extra bases. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Wow, he almost blew that fastball now, uh, by him, but he shows some quick hands to catch up to it and drive it down the opposite line. Didn't keep it fair by much, but he did, and that's a nice two-bagger. G-Man Choi the next to hit. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Outside for a ball, 1-1. One one. There is a base open here, so the option to work around it is there if they want to go that route. One and one the pitch. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Hey, there's a ton of reasons I could give to you as to why this guy has been such a good pitcher in his career. But I think this is the biggest one. His ability to work out of nasty jams. Two guys in scoring position right here. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Rays strand a pair. They trail it here three to nothing. With the plate, Brock Holt. He drove really home two with a side. single in his last plate baseman, appearance. Brock Holt. 
first offering on its way. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Comes set and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Holt, sometimes referred to as the Brock Star, he was a ninth round pick back in the 2009 MLB draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. To one and two now. Hard sinker misses two and two. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. Still full, three and two. Another full count pitch home. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to put a start away. Make him work his tail off, throw a lot of pitches, and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game, and he's probably gone. Stepping into the box, Andrew Benintendi. First pitch on its way. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Action in the Rays' pen now as they've got a lefty and a right hander up and throwing. Holt on at first, nobody out. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. The one two is laid off for ball two. Base head line drive into the corner. Take a look at this again in slow motion. He tracks this thing all the way, gets his hands quickly right to the zone, and Mookie. just rips it down the left field line, just how they draw it up. Now here comes the Tampa Bay manager out to the mound, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start. That's for sure. Tyler Glasnow comes on now in an now awfully difficult situation as there are two Number on 20. here with nobody Tyler. out. Into the box now. Mookie Betts. His previous meeting line with Tyler Glass now. A number of meetings. He's one for seven. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. The set and the 1 0 pitch. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's 1 and 1. Glasnow is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. 
Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. Working for the punch out and the offering. <laughs> inside and a hair low it's two balls and two strikes the 2 2 doesn't get the zone count full now with the meat of the order do up next you can probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two hole hitter Now the three and two pitch heading out towards shallow right. Garcia has a read on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now so two men are on with one man out. And into bank next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. I know he got a swinging miss right there, but that was a hittable location to a really good hitter. I don't know if he gets those back if he continues to miss in those spots. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. From the stretch. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. The 2 1 home. Fouled away. Two two. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. So it's first and second with two men gone. And that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Three runs, three hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Two balls and no strikes for Bogarts. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. He's set and the two and nothing pitch lays off a fastball but it's over for a strike two and one you get yourself into count leverage 2 0 right there you're looking to come unglued on something and be very aggressive that ball had to nip the corner for him not to pull the trigger on it two one pitches a fastball swung on and missed two and two two down runners at first and second. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Boston strands a couple, but they lead it 3 0. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, Rays manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Thank you, Heidi. The left fielder. Number eight. 
Here's the first pitch to him. Lays off 1 and 0. Two balls and no strikes to the Rays left fielder. Not a great spot to be in right here 2 and 0 but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously a bottom of the order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. Now the 2 0 home. Too high and it's 3 and 0. Great A.B. so far I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this one. Yeah. That one's in there three and one. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Benintendi going back to the track, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. So up until this point, they've had to bite the scratch for every single thing. But he puts a good swing on this one and nearly knocks it out of the park. So we'll see if it's contagious and his partner can pick him up right here. So striding forward now, Guillermo Heredia hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like you did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. First pitch of the at bat on its way. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Called strike 0 and 2. Hey, you find yourself down 0 2. You got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even count. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs no until there's 22. a reason to start Second mixing it up. Bench. He hasn't needed Rich many of the secondary pitches oh, so far in this go. one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. Stepping in now, Christian Arroyo. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0 and 1. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Here's the 0 1 pitch didn't threaten the zone there looked like it might have actually popped out of his hand a little early. Into the corner and slicing foul. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time out number two. Now after back to back strikeouts he's got a real good chance of making that leadoff double pretty much meaningless. He's made some good pitches and these hitters have really failed driving him in or at least getting him over. Digging in once again number 11 and he's at risk of the old hat trick two strikeouts on his line so far. Yeah and it seems like these hat tricks and golden sombreros are a lot more common than they were say 10 15 years ago. Guys have stopped worried about striking out as much. It's really been an ideological shift in the game. That's a big topic of debate. Yeah guys not going to worry about three strikeouts if he can add a game winning hit to that line. From the stretch here's the pitch and he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees pretty liberal strike zone there it's 0 and 1. Outside for a ball one and one. Hit the other way out toward right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning. One left for Tampa still down three nothing. Now in the box Chris Taylor 0 for 1 with a run Leading scored thus Boston. far. The third baseman number three Chris Taylor. 
Here's the first pitch to him. No balls and a strike the count. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. In there, one and two now. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The, the best ones have 50. that late action Second. that just starts at the last minute. Justin. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 0 1 pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. The 1 1 home misses ball two. One out, nobody on. Hit on the ground toward the left. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out knock. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. Bradley Jr. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. His previous meeting line with Tyler Glass now. A number of meetings, he's one for seven. The 1 0 is taken, strike one. One ball, one strike. Pedroia, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. To two and two now. Here now the two two. Oh, and this one ran in and got him. And that's twice now he's been hit in this one. Well, he's really been good Up all game long side. until that one. The he was definitely not First trying game. to hit a guy when he's got that's two good. strikes on him. It just appeared that it got away from him. Into the box now, Christian Vasquez. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. The 
1 0 home. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and no one can get there. They'll try it again. The 1 1 doesn't catch the outside corner, it's a ball. First and second now, one man out. Steel try here. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. It's there in plenty of time. He's out trying to steal third as they get the lead runner here. Here now the 2 2 is laid off and the count runs full. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Well, when you go with a slider there on a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Ready for another shot now. Brock Holt. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. First pitch on its way. Cold strike at the letters. 0-1. 0-1 oh, the count. Two men are on with two men out. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Line drive to center field. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Boston strands a couple. They lead it three to nothing. Riding into the box, Yandy Diaz. He'll start Andy things out in the sixth for, the for a lineup that really hasn't basement. found its groove Yandy. in this one. Yeah, only two Diaz. hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. First offering on its way. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. For the current campaign, Diaz carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. Now He's got the shutout right working here as Obviously. we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there he currently sits third in the AL in that category. Ready once again. Avisail Garcia. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Bases are empty, one man out. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And this is popped up near second base. And this will be taken by Pedroia for route number two. Now that Stepping up to the plate, Mike Zanino. It was a walk two. in his last go. trip. Sale gets the sign. First pitch on the way. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. And out 
play here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a solo homer here for Mike Zanino. Number 25 for him on the year. And the Rays are on the board. It's now a 3-1 to one ball game. If you want to certainly drive home runs out of the ballpark, then you better get on the gas. And that's what he did right there. That fastball was not sneaking by him. Now back, the designated hitter. Standing in now, Daniel, Daniel Robertson. As he Robert. looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Looking at his career totals, Robertson brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. The 1 0 is looked at for ball number two. Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. And he gets this fastball over. It's 2 and 1. You know, Matty, I'll never understand this. You work so hard throughout the course of the season and course of this game to get in 1-0, 2-0, 3-1 counts. Guarantee yourself a fastball 80 to 90 percent of the time, and he takes it. Just can't understand the methodology there. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3-1. Three 3-1 and one. Three, one count, tying run on the on-deck circle. You have to be very careful right here to make a quality pitch on three and one. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Rays DH. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Now the three and two pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Payoff pitch one more time. And a fastball misses there, ball four. When a guy's been swinging the bat as well as he has in this series, you definitely want to take the bat out of his hands. A free pass to first is better than what he's been doing the last couple of games. At the plate, G Man Choi. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. He's set. Here it comes. And that misses ball one. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. The 1 0 home is a fastball down below the knees. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. Nope. 3-0. and I'm seeing all the signs of fatigue right now. This is when you really have to bear down mentally as a pitcher. Robertson leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And he gets the call there, three and one. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3 0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Now and now time Number is called eight. here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Trying to pick things up where we left off, Brandon Lowe. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once in AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Two down, runners at first and second. That's inside. 2 0. Oh. 
sale ready with the 2 0. 3 and 0 now. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. Here it is, the 3 0. It's the bottom of the zone for a strike. This is where, if you're the batter, one pitch, one spot and you get the barrel of the bat to that baseball as quick as possible with damage on your mind. The 3 1 and that misses ball four and he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there and a walk is the result. Well the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news a single probably drives in a couple of runs. Now batting Guillermo Heredia and after that quick walk is it fair to wonder if this starter is beginning to show signs of getting tired. Yeah, that could be the case, Matty. Sometimes you just lose your focus, lose your command, but it'll be real important for him to get it back as this next hitter walks up to the plate. He's set and the pitch. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Looking to minimize the damage here. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Bases are loaded here, two down. Line to the right side. But that's a foul ball. Oh and two, here it is. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Benintendi, and they'll avoid the big inning as he makes the catch, so just the one run scores here in the frame. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We return to Tropicana Field after this. Back here at Tropicana Field in St. Pete. Red Sox on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But first, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Casey Sadler is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 73. Digging in and looking for more, Andrew Benintendi. He's two for three thus far. Andrew. First offering on its way. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 1. <laughs> 0 and 2, the count to Benintendi. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. And he fouls this one off. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck. You're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. 2-2 two, two is a changeup that misses 3-2. and two. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. At the plate, Mookie Betts. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. 
Here's the first pitch to him. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. And this misses the outside corner so it's knotted up at one and one. the ground is short could this be two there's one on to first a double play nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk those are usually pretty costly but that won't be the case this time after the two ball at the plate J.D. Martinez Held hitless in this one so far, but he looks to be in good position to cap off the year with more home runs than anybody else in the league. But I think he'd like to have a good A.B. right here. He's hitless on the day. He hasn't looked good at the plate. I'd like to see him stay back and drive something back up the middle. And that's inside for a ball. 1-0. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. Now the 2 0. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground, but a foul ball, and it's 2 1 now. Now the 2 1. It swung on and missed for strike number two. He came out of his shoes on that one, boys. I know we swung and missed it. We felt the breeze from up here, but if he gets that pitch again and catches it a grain low, we got action. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Ladies Inning is over. Nothing doing for Boston, but they hang on to a three to one lead. Carson Smith gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Carson Smith. Now at the play, Christian Arroyo. He lined Being out his first time percent. around and then went down on strikes last team. time up. Even Christian. though we're moving into the back end of this oh, game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Popped him up. Vasquez is there. One away. Now back to the top of the number lineup, 11. stepping in, number 11, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Upper part of the zone there, but taken for a strike. Hey boys, although I'd love to get all over this offense for underachieving, let's tip our cap to this pitching staff right here. They've been able to execute working all four quadrants and keeping this team totally off balance ready with the nothing in one pitch lays off the sinker here a ball and a strike one out nobody on hit sharply on the ground Pedroia fields it cleanly Throw gets him two down. Now Digging in, Yandy Diaz. No Yandy. hits in three tries so far. He yeah. struck out once. Here comes the first pitch, and a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. That changeup stays outside and he's behind 2 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a line drive. That gets down and the inning continues. Hey just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball stay square as long as possible and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit.
Into the box, Avisail Garcia. Nope. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1 and 0. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 0 home is swung on and missed in that strike one. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four of this series. Ball two with a sinker that runs off the inside. Diaz, the runner at first with two gone. Good breaking ball there laid off for the second strike. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And this is why you can't lose focus for a second when you're behind the plate. Any mistake a catcher makes has serious consequences. This is a pass ball, and the runner moves into scoring position. Pitch popped up. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Lays strand just the one. Score holds, it's three to one. Here's the cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Now a changeup misses here to begin the eighth. It's 1-0. And a strike to even the count. 1-1. One and one. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. And it's two balls and two strikes now. A bouncer to the left side. Diaz charging this one. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Coming to the plate now, Chris Taylor. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Hard hit ball to second. And there's out number two. Riding in once again, Dustin Pedroia. He singled his last time up. Pedroia. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one taken just off the inside. Two and zero now. He may be down two and zero after those first two pitches in this AB, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. The 2 0 on the way. He is looked at for the first strike. Love the pitch call there. 2 0. You know, the guy's geared up for a fastball, and you drop a changeup in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Garcia coming on, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of a baseball the season. Center Bottom line is, Jackie this guy has bat-to-ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually.
stepping in now Jackie Bradley Jr. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play a bit suspiciously he's been hit twice in this one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1 and a sinker dips too low there into the dirt in fact. And a sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair three to one our score. Took a good cut that time but comes up empty two and two. Here now the two two had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Here now the two two is looked at for ball three full count with two outs now so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion and strike three called as he says you got to be kidding me with the side retired Red Sox leave one as the lead remains three to one Joe Your Jimenez is on to pitch out of the bullpen the in the bottom half of the eighth number 77 Joe Jimenez So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Mike Sonino. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And this is swung on and hit on the ground at Pedroia at second. On to first. And a sigh of relief in that visitor's dugout as that's a big man to retire to start out the home eight. Now back, the designated hitter. To the plate now for the Rays is the DH. Daniel Robertson. A hit in two tries for him so far. First delivery to him on the way. In there for strike one, oh, and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. The one one is looked at off the plate for a ball. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again. No Matt I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. Still two and two. Now another 2-2. Two, two. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. G-Man Choi waits on deck. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Into the box now, G-Man Choi. Because he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Now the 1 0 is outside for a ball. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup.
the 2 1 home is a fastball taken high for a ball. Line drive to center field. Bradley will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Rays go in order one, two, three. They still trail it here three to one. Emilio Pagan enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Emilio Pagan. So stepping in, Christian Vasquez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Christian Vasquez. First pitch on its way. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. One and one the count. Now the one and one pitch. Takes this the other way to right, but he will come on strong out there and right and pull this one down for the first down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. In now, Brock Holt. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls in a strike. One for two in the ball game thus far. A one count. Here's the pitch. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. And action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right hander's begun to get loose. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. One out, nobody on. And a swing and a miss here, and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings now and misses batting. with that pitch Let's unless it's really Andrew. moving. So that one Bennett must have Andrew. had some real good late life. Standing in now, Andrew Benintendi, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Hard hit to first. Choi is up with it and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox and it's still three to one. Craig Kimbrell comes out of the bullpen to now shut things down here in the ninth. Number 46 Craig Kimbrell. Digging in, Brandon Lowe. It was and a walk off. in his last Ray. trip. No left fielder, number eight. From the stretch, in no on the hands a bit with the fastball, it's 1 0. Oh. The 1 0. Oh. It's the zone, a curveball in there for a strike. 
Kimbrell has over 40 innings on his line so far with a dominant sub three ERA good by anybody's standards. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Now the two one pitch is taken, ball three. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. The 3 1. And that is the start they were looking for down by two as that misses for ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3 1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Joey Wendell will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Joey Wendell. On the ground for the shortstop, Bogarts. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Hey, after that hit right there, d that, that extends his hitting streak to six man. games. Yeah, six no years. doubt about it. Six days in a oh, row with oh, knocks yeah. will help you sleep better at night, Dan. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that brings up the former first-rounder, Christian Arroyo. First offering on its way. Now a strike called in the upper part of the zone. Low on second. Wendell at first with no outs. Oh, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. This hasn't been the most impressive at bat for him so far. That last swing wasn't exactly textbook. We'll see if he can battle now and turn it around. Working for the punch out and the offering. Lays off that time and it's one and two. You know, I'm not sure he didn't throw that pitch out of the zone on purpose. They've been swinging at pretty much everything he throws, so why not give it a shot? And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Really important time for a strike out there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number, number one is stranding him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. Coming to the plate now, number 11, looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Ready. Here's the first offering. And this is taken outside for ball one. No doubt. Some saves come easier than others, and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult task. Now the 1 0 is in there for strike one. Not too often do you see a changeup come across it. 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? To second for one. On to first, and he rolls the double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. And he just keeps on going and going. That's save number 35 for the season. And he's proven to be as reliable as anyone in the game. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one the final. The Boston Red Sox took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Chris Sale wins for a team high 19th time. Yanni Chirinos was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Craig Kimbrell earns the save out of the bullpen, his 35th of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.